breakfast or brunch at the Tumut River Brewing Company. Very, very highly recommended. Beautiful bacon and egg roll with a hash brown and a sensational ice latte. As we go through the main drag of Tumut, onward to Kuma. Shall I have a new favourite road, highway, whatever? What is it? The Snowy Mountains Highway. <laughs> it's bike mecca. It's almost too much to take in, and we're only, we haven't even got to Kuma. We entered from the western side. So we've been through Tuma. We're about 60 to 70 k's out of Kuma currently. So we just pulled over in one of the chain <laughs> installation bays. <laughs> <laughs> what a way with words, Paul. We don't need uh, chains, of course, because uh, it's the middle of summer. It's a very warm day. The temperature has dropped a little bit, but there's a beautiful breeze right now. It's, it's almost overwhelming, the scenery here, and I'm sure we've got many more stunning landscapes to see. But so far... The roads, they're just... <sighs> that elevation after that, that, that period of time after the Tumut power station where we had that very steep elevation leading to that lookout was stunning. Then it opens up into this valley and you just think, it, you can just see the twisting road meandering away from you, well ahead of you. And you're thinking, this is just fantastic because we're about to glide through all that stuff. Calm down, Mr. I won't. <laughs> and you playing chicken with a, a learner in a, in a, in a RAV4 almost took each other out. He almost took me out. Was it a he or a she? It was a he. All right, I'll take it a little bit easier in a minute. <laughs> but uh, this area, there's so many places that, that I've been riding through thinking, I'll pull drone Elisa out. I'm a little bit skeptical, a little bit conservative in that nature. I'm thinking, well, it's Kosciuszko National Park. Technically, you're not supposed to. Take I'm it out, take it out. I know these hills are spectacular in the snow, but the colours of the landscape and just being able to take advantage of these bends. I would highly recommend any motorbike enthusiast get your asses down here in summertime. Guard this joint. Spectacular. be seeing Kuma, well not today anyway, uh, I haven't been through this region before so I actually assume that you go through Kuma to get to Jindabyne and maybe there is another way around to Jindabyne, there probably is, 
uh, after going through Cooma, but uh, we arrived at a T-section and it said Cooma left, Jindabyne right. And our destination for tonight and tomorrow night is Jindabyne, so we turn right. We ain't going through Cooma. I don't know if we will tomorrow, but for now, no Cooma. Off to Jindabyne. Jindabyne. Look at the scope and size of that thing. What a view to be greeted with as you start the descent down into the town of Jindabyne. 